TIFU by phasing out third-party apps, potentially toppling Reddit. Hello, Reddit. This is you, Spez. You're usually confident CEO. But today, I'm here in a different capacity. As a fellow Redditor who's made a big oopsie. So here it goes. TIFU by deciding to eliminate third-party apps. And as a result, unintentionally creating a crisis for our beloved platform. Like most TIFUs, it started with good intentions. I wanted to centralize user experience, enhance quality control, and create uniformity. I thought having everyone on the official app would simplify things and foster a better, more unified Reddit experience. But oh, how I was wrong. First, the backlash was instant and palpable. Users and moderators alike expressed concerns about the utility and convenience that these third-party apps offered. I heard stories of how some apps like Riff had become an integral part of their Reddit journey, especially for moderators who managed communities big and small. Then came the real shocker. In protest, moderators began to set their subreddits to private. Some of the largest, most active corners of Reddit suddenly went dark. The impact was more significant than I'd ever anticipated. Frustration mounted and so did regret. This wasn't what I wanted. I never intended to disrupt the community spirit that defines Reddit or make the jobs of our volunteer moderators harder. Yet, here we are. I've made a monumental miscalculation in assessing how much these third-party apps meant to our community. I didn't realize the extent to which they were woven into the fabric of our daily Reddit operations particularly for our moderators. In short, I messed up. I didn't fully understand the consequences of my decision. And now Reddit and its communities are bearing the brunt of it. So, here's my TIFU. Reddit, it's a big one, and I'm still grappling with the fallout. But if there's one thing I know about this platform, it's that we're a community. We're in this together, and we'll figure it out together. I'm listening. Let's talk. TL. Dear tried to unify Reddit under the official app. Phased out third-party apps. Caused chaos. Possibly destabilized the platform. And learned a lesson about the value of diverse user experiences. Edit. A word. Note. This is a parody. What is really strange is that had this been real it may have actually worked. I used to think you, Spez, was actually capable of that kind of insight and self-correction. But after spending a chunk of time in his utterly insultingly laughable AMA I no longer find any evidence to support that belief. I can't wait until we can buy red verified Reddit checkmarks for a monthly fee of 19.99 S. Congrats you, Titus Rex for being convincing enough to have a crazy downvote ratio. Now that's what I call satire. Reading comprehension devil invading this thread from the looks of it. Well done op on the satire. Note, this is a parody my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Spez, hello, I like money. This right here is perfect. Too bad it won't be viewable in a few days or a couple weeks by anyone not using the Terabad. Reddit app. Had me going for a sec. This really should be their reaction to the massive blowback they created. Jesus. Thanks for that final note. In Before You, Spez Stealth edits this post to make this nightmare all go away like the little bitch. That he is. My stealth edit to fix spelling lol. God damn it I thought this was from the real CEO. Not a parody. Dot ugh. Well done. Though. And this is what I'd love to see from him. The official app sucks. Reddit.com sucks. 
Old.reddit.com is Coke Classic Remake. Note, this is a parody that sounds like a threat. Silly, you, Spez. You forgot to mention how you lied about an independent developer trying to blackmail and threaten. You. They wanted to consolidate the Reddit experience. Unfortunately, the official Reddit app is a traumatizing experience. Way too coherent and self-aware. Mr. CO man if you pay me 10 million pounds I will 100% maybe fix it. If the official app was halfway decent it wouldn't be nearly as much of an issue. But that app is ass. I was so happy for a moment. Aw, oh, I'm going to miss this. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.